Okay, so we're having a look at expanding brackets and uh, in particular we're having a look at expanding double brackets or quadratic brackets. Just to recap, uh, you should have come across in the past uh, simple expanding brackets. Expanding brackets. And you should have come across things uh, such as this where you have 3, let's say x plus 4. Now, these, remember you're multiplying this number times the bracket, so it's 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times 4. Which gives us 12. Now a lot of people forget to multiply that term here, so they might write 3x plus 4, which would be wrong. So remember, single brackets, we're multiplying out two terms. Now, if we have a look at uh, double brackets, uh, we're looking at things like this, x plus 2, x plus 3. Now, my favourite method of doing these is looking at a table, and the reason for doing that is because I find it most reliable and I think most people would agree that you, you, you tend to get the answer more reliably, make fewer mistakes using this method. So I'd recommend it particularly in the exam. So I've written x2 here, x plus 2, positive 2, x plus 3, a positive 3. If it was negative, I'd just put the sign in. We'll come to that in a minute. And I'll multiply x times x, which is x squared, 2 times x, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times x is 3x. So when I collect together the terms, I get x squared, 2x, 3x, and 6. Now you should notice that these two terms here are what we call similar. They're both some value of x's, some number of x's. So we're going to simplify that to give that. So the 2x and 3x just go together to make 5x. And that is your finished answer. Now, there are other methods of doing this, which personally I avoid, uh, and you'll see why in a minute. If I have x plus 2, x plus 3, you can say you're multiplying the x by the x, and the x by the 3, and the 2 by the x, and the 2 by the 3. And one easy way of remembering this is to draw this parrot, and you'll see why I don't do it very often. It's because I'm terrible at drawing. Yeah, as you can see. So, but there's your parrot. Some people might do that. Anyway, you get the idea. Going back to the more reliable method I prefer, Let's just have a look at a couple of negative values. Um, if you get one like this, same idea applies. This time, notice the minus sign goes in, and everything else is the same. x times x, x squared, 2 times x, 2x, minus 4 times x, minus 4x, and 2 times minus 4 gives me minus 8. Now when it comes to joining these together, I'm going to do two steps in one here. I'm going to have a look at joining these two together all in one go. I know I'm joining them because they're the x's. So I get my x squared and I get my minus 8. What about this mid bit in the middle? I've got a minus 4 of them and I've got a 2 of them. If I combine that, I get minus 2x. So common place to make an error, but that's, if you follow the, the, the grid method, just combining those two, you get that. Uh, and lastly, one last example we'll have a look at, uh, something like x minus 3, x minus 6. So we've got two minuses here, nothing to worry about, just be careful. x times x, x squared again, minus 3 times x, minus 3x, minus 6 times x, minus 6x, 
a minus 3 times minus 6. Minus times a minus makes a plus, a positive. I'm not going to put the plus in. Uh, simplifying, joining together the terms again. Here, minus 3x and minus 6x. Minus 3 minus 6 makes minus 9x. Now you have to be careful you don't confuse minus and a minus making a plus. If you have problems with this, just go back and have a look at a bit of directed number work, positive and negative numbers, and just remember you're starting at minus 3 and you're going down 6, or you're starting at minus 6 and you're going down 3. So it's minus 9 you go to, and 18. Right, so that's the, the idea, that's the method. What I want you to do now is I'm going to give you some questions. There's some questions, three to have a go at. You can press pause, have a go at those three questions on a sheet of paper, and uh, in a minute I'll go through the three answers, and you can check that you've got the three right. Okay, so let's see if you got those right. Let's have a look at these uh, in order. So we had x plus 2x plus 5. There's my grid, x and 2, x and 5, x times x, x squared, 2x, 2 times x, 5 times x is 5x, 2 times 5, 10. So simplifying, you should have got x squared plus 7x plus 10. There's your answer. Moving on. Oh, didn't really need that. Do need the minus though, that's important. x times x is x squared. 7x from the 7 times x. Minus 2x here, that's why the minus is important. And minus 14. Hope we didn't catch anyone out there. 7x minus 2x is 5x. Minus 14, there's our finished answer. And lastly, x times x is x squared, minus 4 times x, minus 4x, uh, minus 5 times x, minus 5x, minus 4 times minus 5 is plus 20. Don't really need the plus sign, but I'm emphasising it, it is there. Collecting those two together, minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9x, plus 20. All three done. Now, there is just one more thing we should have a look at while we're here, and that is uh, expanding brackets that look like this. x plus 4x minus 4. Now that's known as the difference of two squares, and you'll see why in a minute. If I expand in the usual way, I get an x squared, I get a 4x, I get a minus 4x, and I get a minus 16. Now you'll notice that these two terms here cancel. So my final answer is still a quadratic. It's still got an x squared in it, but it hasn't got any x's. And this is called difference of two squares, which I refer to as dots, dot, difference of two squares. It's a difference, it's got a minus sign, x squared is a square, and 16 is a square. So we have difference of two squares. Now, um, they're a special type of quadratic, and when it comes to factorising that, it's important you know where it's come from, so you can go back from this into here. We'll come to factorising in the next section. So that's one special case. And the last one we'll do here is that special case. So again, exactly the same way x times x is x squared, 5 times x, 5 times x, 5 times 5. Now, why is it x and 5, x and 5? Just go back up a line. That's because x plus 5 squared is this bracket times itself. So there we have the two things that multiply to give this. And that, in a nutshell, is uh, multiplying out double brackets. I hope it was helpful.